Ahoy there, mates, and welcome to the VHS Pirate Ship, and welcome to today's Snack Attack segment, pairing your perfect munchies with your perfect movie night. And today, we're going to indulge our sweet twos by examining one of the more underrated candies, the Caramel Chew. That's today on the Snack Attack segment, S-A-S. From Captain Adam's VHS Pirate Ship, the Snack Attack Segment. Snack Attack Segment. S A S. Snack Attack Segment. So when you think of candy, you usually think of your three basic foundations. You got your chocolate, which you're so fond of. You got your fruity stuff, like your gummy bears and whatnot. And you have your caramels. Caramels were one of the first candies, and one of the first purveyors of caramel candies was Goatsies, or Gotsies, or something. I really don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm not going to try. And they're most famous for their caramel cream bullseyes. And these little delights are soft and chewy, and they're not the molar destroyers that most caramel candies are. And these little beauties are straight out of the penny candy days, and one of the things that everyone's had yet nobody talks about. And they even tried pairing these up with different flavors like strawberry. But that uh, actually is a little too tart. It doesn't translate very well because really the only things you can pair up caramel with is either vanilla or chocolate. Fruit stuff just doesn't seem to work with caramel. Now you may know this candy company a little better from their most famous invention, Caltails which are essentially Caramel Slim Jims. And they also tried pairing these up with strawberry flavor, but to me, it just doesn't work. It's kind of like having a toothpaste and orange juice milkshake. Now, usually, caramel is associated with hard candies, such as your Werther's Original. But these are soft and chewy, and you get instant gratification without worrying about obliterating your teeth. Yes, the consistency of candy is very important. And when it comes to your teeth, it literally is a life and death situation, such as the case for bit of honeys or sugar daddies, which will rip your fillings out of the foundations like they were mad at them. And no one likes spiteful candy. So it turns out the proper way to pronounce this name is get. Why didn't you tell us this to begin with? You sure got a lot of extra letters in there. And as far as the caramel fruit combinations go, it seems that the exception would be apples and caramel. And it really is a fine art combining certain candies with anything. Sometimes you happen upon something extraordinary, and other times you find something totally awful, such as any chocolate and mint combination which is an abomination before the Lord. But anyways, for me, I don't need to combine caramel with anything. Just these normal caramel chews will do just fine. But for you, you eat what you like and like what you eat. And I hope you enjoyed today's Snack Attack segment. And be sure to hit subscribe. Until next time, mateys, be safe out there and don't let your meat loaf. And I'll see you next time, only on Captain Adam's VHS Pirate Ship.